Hello and welcome everyone listening in, watching this podcast. Um, today's episode is number three in getting to know the musicians from Acastronic. And with me today I have Alison Cooley and we're going to get to know her and her background and kind of what she's done musically before Acastronic. Uh, we might touch a little bit on Acastronic today with Alison, but hoping to have her and the gang on for like a part two of getting to know everyone uh, later on down the line. So, um, hi Alison, how are you? All right, Ryan. Good, good to hear. Uh, I see you have plenty of cuddly toys behind you. Any of them have names? Nope. Fair enough. They look... Is the bear? This one's wearing... a radio. I was I was just about to ask. It looks like his headphones on. It's radio. Does it clicks cool. under a radio? That's really cool. <laughs> How often do you use that then? A lot? Never. Never. <laughs> oh well. No, uh, yeah, that's cool. I I used to have. I got it years ago for Christmas. I got a speaker pillow. Mm-hmm. So you, there's speakers in the pillow, and you plug your phone in or iPod in. And That's you'd... what that is. Yeah, but um, <laughs> w- once or twice, I mean, my brother used to share a bedroom. He'd be yeah. in one side of the room, I'd be in the other, and I fell asleep one night listening to like really, really <laughs> heavy rock metal, and he could hear it, and he was, the whole night was going, turn it off. <laughs> and I was out like a light. I was I was fast asleep. But anyway, um. Alison, we're we're here to get to know you as 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 a person, as a musician. Um, so we'll jump straight into the to the first couple of questions. Uh, can okay. you tell us a bit about yourself? Some hobbies, favorite pastimes. If you have any pets or where you work. Well, I used to do pantomimes when I was younger, cool. and then I've done plays as well. And then I like my art and do that all the time. I color on my tablet, my art. Nice. So, so you you you're like a wide area of arts that you that you like to do. You know, yeah. kind of the music and drama, and then the more kind of um, like painting. Uh, drawing kind of aspects of it as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, have you have you ever drawn anything for like a music show or something? Nope. Ah, okay. Well, we're making note. We have to get you to draw something for <laughs> an orchestra. That's okay, show. Ryan. But uh, tell tell you what, um, for the part two, we can get you to draw a pretty cool image, and then. Because John mentioned earlier, too, that he's into kind of animation and, you know, drawing Uh, cartoons. We can get the pair of you to do something really, really cool for the intro. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. So, um, you know, um, can you tell us anything else about, about you that maybe isn't music related? You know, um, just a wee bit of info that if somebody says, who's Alison? They'd be like, oh, she's... Um, I work in Pilots Row three days a week. That's in Derry. Cool. Um, outside. Uh, what what kind of work is that? It's the Mick Coulson song, Help Out With The Dinners. Ah, cool. So you're pretty busy with that then? Yep. Cool. Anyway, uh, moving on to uh, question two. Uh, as as I said to John and Jay, you know, I have a couple of quick fire questions, uh-huh. um, just to get to know you guys. And like, you're you're all being asked the same questions, and it's it's amazing already, like how different all the answers are. Um. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll carry on here with them. Um, so 
you kind of touched it in, in in your answer to to the first question but how did you get how did you start making music like when did you start your music journey um when i was in school we yeah. were in a wee grip with music cool and yeah. what kind of music were you making in school um all different things yeah yeah. Well, uh, you you mentioned pint, uh, pantomimes earlier. Was was yeah. any of them involved at the school? Nope. <laughs> oh, so that was uh, that was later. That was later down the line. Yeah. Ah, cool. So, like, what kind of um, what kind of instruments were you playing at school? Just a tambourine, and drums, and stuff. So very rhythm. Yep. Ah, so you and you and John are kind of. Because we were at the same school. Where he is. <laughs> No way. Yep. He he never mentioned that. <laughs> I think Jay was along with us too. That's that's, that's like, so I've I, I should say like, I've I've known the guys now for a good few years. Um, and I thought I knew a lot of bitches, but I clearly don't because I never knew that. That's mm-hmm. really really cool. So um, you guys are like. In a band before Acastronic, Technica. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, I played Gabalon and Song Special. Ah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I remember seeing you doing a concert or two with them. That was, yeah. The Gamelon stuff was really, really cool. Yeah. Um, but just on the kind of pantomime stuff that you mentioned, when. Well, how, how many pantomimes have, have you been involved in? Like, was it was it you singing or was it you singing and dancing? Just or acting. Just acting. Yeah. That's cool. Can you can you tell us some of the some of the roles you played? Um, I made the genie. And from Aladdin. It is. Was that the genie from Aladdin? Yeah. My favorite character from from a lot. That was my first ever pantomime. First ever, and you were the genie. I. Uh, Jeez, that's a lot of pressure. I know. Did all go good? Yep. Yeah. Oh, of course. I mean, I've 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 seen you guys in action. Like it, it doesn't, nothing phases you. You're just like pressure. Pff, what pressure? Uh-huh. Boom, gig done, dusted. That's cool. Um, I, I, I suppose I can ask you, like, what would be your favorite pantomime that you've done? The Cinderella one. Oh, you guys done Cinderella. That was the last one. Oh, was that was that in the Millennium Forum? Yeah. I remember see I remember seeing adverts for that, and I I kept saying to myself, must try and catch it, but um. I was still a student, and actually, not much has changed. I don't have much money now either, but I had very, very little back then, and I couldn't go. Yeah, that's cool. That's yeah. very cool. So, like, so you would have been uh, music at school, music yeah. with the pantomime, or yeah. you know, kind of acting and stuff, and then all you're you're always doing your drawings, which are I've seen uh-huh. a few. They're fantastic. Um. And then you would have done Gamelan. Yeah. So like, because Acastrona, you know, it's very technology based. Um, uh, at like, did you have any past experience of working with music and technology? You know, like making songs with. with um, tech? I worked with Denise before Song Special. Oh, you did. Yep. Oh, that's ah. Oh, didn't know that either. See, I know, I know. You think you know someone? Uh, she used to have a getaway club on a Wednesday night. Ah, so was that was that was that you, John, and Jay again? Yep. Kind of involved. Yep. Yep. Nice. So um. So yeah, so you would have been doing that. So like, 
I guess before Akastronic, you kind of still had a bit of experience then working with yeah. uh, music, music technology and all that side of things. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. So you like, uh, I do have a question later on. I, I, I still ask it, but you've, you've kind of gone, ah, it was easy. Done and dusted. <laughs> so, um, we, we, we kind of answered two questions there in uh, in quick succession. You know, kind of telling a bit about your music background mm. and stuff, as well as you know, how did you get started? But um, is there anything in particular, like the day you started music, right up till today? Is there any, like what's the best memory that sticks out in your mind? Getting to know people. Getting to know people. Yeah. That's on my day. Well, well, you've you've never come across as shy. Well, I mean, everyone's a bit shy when they get to first kind of chat to each other. But yeah. I wouldn't have said you're over overly shy. But um, that's cool. No, that's 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 a great answer because uh, I've seen you. I've seen you work now with. A couple of different people in different ensembles, and yeah. I I would swear that you're best friends with them, like all of them, all all the time. It's great. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll ask you then a, a second part to so like that is fantastic, and like that's that's what music is all about: is bringing people together. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm I'm gonna push for a different answer. Ever so slightly. What will be your best uh, music experience from the very start till now? So, like, it could be your favorite gig that you've done, or it could be maybe you've worked with somebody who's really, really cool. From day one of music till now, what's been your like, your favorite gig or your favorite song to play or uh, favorite show that Didn't you've done? Go to Dublin and art. Cause I have never been there. Was that um, was that the first gig you did with Acastronic in Dublin? Yeah. No, uh, I think that was like the last one of maybe two gigs I've missed. So, because I've missed it, you know, can can you tell me a bit about it? Because I've I haven't heard too much about the, about that one. It was a conference we went to. So it was. A lot of people was talking, and Frank was telling us all, everybody did all about it. All about Acastronic? Yeah. Cool. So, was that um, was that intimidating to see all these people kind yeah. of a bit closer? Because you know, like when you perform on like on stage, there's usually a bit of lighting, so you can't see everyone. But you know that there's people there. Was was it a bit different when you could see everyone? Yeah, and more nervous. Oh, oh, god, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm nervous right now. Just having. Yeah, a the only one. <laughs> well, good. Well, then you can help me, and our. I probably won't be any help to you, but I try. Yeah. So, um, first Acastronic gig in Dublin. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, can, can you remember? Do you remember what kind of piece that you guys did that day? I think it was Brenton's. No, Frank's. Lost Voice. Ah, you. Ah, so that was that was like your first project was the Lost Voices. Ah. Uh, That's cool. I've I still haven't heard that one because, uh, you know, I've kind of missed those couple of sessions. But um. That's cool. Yeah. Must um, must ask if there's any recordings of it anywhere mm-hmm. so we can we can make sure all other people hear it as well. Um. So you know, like you're, so you know, you've 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 gone now and you've done the Acastronic gig, and yeah. that was that was your first experience of it. Did you yeah. think r- right there and then? Yeah, this is cool. I have to keep doing it. Yeah. Good. Yep. Good. Good to hear that you're still really, really enjoying it. 
So um, I have a question here that's that I'm asking everyone because I think it's cool when when I ask this question and you know you so far you guys have all had different answers. Um, kind of showing how multi-talented, talented, you guys all are. Uh, mm. But how many instruments can you play? Mm. Not too many. Like five or so. Five. Wow, five's a lot for for anyone. Mm-hmm. Can you can you list can you list them out for me? Um, for now then, push pad. Push pad. Everyone, um, yeah. And then the tablet and all. Cool. Any the any thumb jam. Thumb jam, yeah. I've cool. never played that before. It's a great app, isn't it? Yeah. So far, you, you, John, and Jay have all said thumb jam. It's it's a really, really cool app. So. I must yeah. somewhere here on the screen I'll put like what the app looks like so people can if they want to try it out they can have a look and be like, oh uh-huh. that's this one. Um what other instruments? Because I know that um I know that you've tried a few at Lewis lately. Oh VR one? Virtual reality. Yeah. You know, like so. We done that with Lewis. Yeah. We did. So like that is kind of like, well, making music in that, in that world. You know, that's that's mm-hmm. that's cool. Like, I'm biased, of course, because I think everything you guys do is <laughs> fantastic. But you know, making music using virtual reality is just amazing. What about um, non? electric instruments so you you mentioned drums tambourine yeah is there anything else guitar guitar yeah i, I remember the i remember the guitar well <laughs> <laughs> I should say that uh, i was teaching allison a few years ago a couple of things on guitar and uh it was good. It was good, Craig. You, you were you were coming along really, really well. Yeah. Um. Any other instruments, both electric or acoustic? The one for the gamelan, the. Oh yeah. The, thing. the gong. Ah. Cool. Did 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 you guys also like change instruments? Yeah. Every now and then, yeah. So you would have played a whole bunch of other gamelan instruments as well. Yeah. For the life of me, I can't remember any of the, any of their names, <laughs> or, or the other different instruments. But um, I'll uh, drop a few images maybe as well, just to show them. But yeah, no, like the gamelan stuff is really cool because it's very very relaxing. You could like just sit and just listen to you guys compose and improvise, and it's really really nice. Until you would hit the gong and wake everyone up. <laughs> that was always fun. Yeah. So I mean, like that's that's quite a lot of instruments because you know you're kind of like I I, I know at Acastronic, you know you've kind of gone from uh, push pads to iPad or tablet to uh, virtual reality. Um, Were you there when we were doing leap motion kind of sensor stuff? Ah. Uh, yeah. The thing for the hand. Yeah, it was creepy sometimes, wasn't it? Yeah. So you, you, I think that was only start. That was the very start. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool stuff. That. So you know you're doing that, and then you're doing drums, gamelan instruments, which there's I think five or six of them that you were probably doing. Uh, guitar, tambourine, you know, so you've mm. you've done a lot. So really, really cool. So um, um so my question I mentioned was coming up earlier, you've kind of already answered it, but like how was it 
getting used to the instruments of Acastronic, Greg? Were you nervous at all? Was there anything you're kind of going, oh God, what do I do next? I was very nervous at the start, but I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm always like that. Um. So, like, what what helped you get used to it? I got the help from ones that knew how to do them. So, like the the rest of the members. Yeah. Cool. Um. Yeah, I I I, I still remember my first session that I sat in with Acastronic and one of the guys was running late and I think it was Frank or Brendan told me to sit down and join in uh -huh. and I was going yeah cool yeah I, I can do this I started playing or trying to improvise and I was just rubbish I couldn't I couldn't make it anything sound good and then um, I think it could have been John John showed up and he sat down and he took the position I was in and then they asked him to improvise the same section and it just sounded so much better than what I was doing I was going okay I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna play anything any, anymore so yeah like I yeah I was really really nervous on my first night so I, I fully understand how you how you how you felt that day yeah. um but I mean, like you guys are absolute pros now. Like I should say that we're meeting. It's at least twice a week now, for the past yeah. maybe three or four months, even five. Twice a week on Zoom. Uh, doing a cool couple of pieces. Probably can't say too much right now about them. Apart from keep an eye out; they're on the way. <laughs> Unless there are already out by the time this podcast goes out, in which case I'll put a link to them. Um, but you know, like, how how have you found working with Lacastronic during COVID? Uh, it was good. I enjoyed it. I do enjoy meeting people on free sim because I've never done it before. I, you guys are like pros at using Zoom now. Yeah. I mean... Uh, you're you're forever kind of showing me new things are like we're log on and you'll be doing something I'll be going right yeah. how have they done that but yeah yeah so we've we've been doing bits and pieces over zoom which has been pretty cool and yeah. uh, looking forward to getting back in person where we can actually start yeah. you know kind of doing a bit more. Zoom's great, but it's not. It's not. It's not the same as being in the same room as everyone. No. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's to be honest, the acastronic stuff has been keeping me going through all this COVID nonsense. So every Tuesday, Thursday has been fantastic. Yeah. And I, your your work ethic, all you guys are just. You know, nothing phases you. Um, I, actually, I do have a funny story. That, uh, Allison is usually the very first person to join a Zoom meeting. And if there's not a link that's been sent, Allison's also usually the first person going, where's the link? Where's the link? Because, you know, you're eager to get going. And there was one week where I was hosting a session and I had to teach guitar online just beforehand. And I forgot to send the link earlier in the day. And I had to stop my guitar lesson because my phone was just beep, 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 beep with messages from all the guys. But Allison started it by going, where's the link? Can't find the link. And it was, it was great because in one sense it was, you know, it shows your dedication, which is through the roof. And I, I had to say the, to the student I was teaching, like, do you mind if I stop for five minutes just to answer these messages? And they're like, yeah, that's yeah. fine. But no, it was good. Um, it's nearly there, Alison. I think we only have... Uh, I think we have one more question. 
Um, yeah. So, who who musically inspires you? Like, who who do you like to listen to? Well, I like my country with Nathan Carter. Yep. Yeah, I... I went to see him concert a couple times. Oh, cool. So, um, so you're a big, big Nathan Carter fan? Yep. Any other country artists that you're a big fan of? Lisa McKee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. A couple of songs of hers. Um, and all our ones then. And other ones? Yeah. That's cool, because, like, Chanda J, he was very much, he loves the 80s and 90s kind of bands and artists. And then John was kind of like U2, uh, Eiffel Tower 65, Scooter. And then we have yourself now, who's kind of more country. Mm. So, like, it's, it's already fantastic seeing how many different genres everybody likes. So, that's cool. Um, we could maybe try and do a piece down the line that has a lot of all your influences. So like, mm -hmm. it could start country, then it could go into uh, 80s, and then up to kind of <laughs> U2 kind of sound. Yeah. Thought of uh, coming up with some of your own pieces for Acastronic? No. No? Not yet? Yeah. Um, down the line, I I, I think... Because, like, I mean, Chan, Chan Doll, you guys, like, he's, he's have so many musical ideas. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That, like, I think we should get everyone maybe doing one piece of their own. Which would be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And because you love to draw, you could uh, graphic score it as uh, well. You know. But anyway, we 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 could chat about that offline and kind of let's see, put put it all together. Yeah. So, this is this has been great, Alison. Uh, I, I feel like I know you a hundred times now, better <laughs> um, yeah. than than before we started. Um, yeah, it's been great having you. Uh, thanks to everybody who's listened and who's watching. Uh, we're hoping now to have Alison, John, Jay, Marie. Um, hopefully, we're all, they're all come together for a part two, and we're all be in person, but socially distanced, and kind of have a big chit chat about Acastronic and and the group as a whole down the line once everything's kind of safe to do so so um yeah touch wood that happens sooner rather than later so we will be having you back on Alison don't uh -huh. which don't don't be worried you know yep yeah. we'll all be good so thank you very much Alison it's it's been been great chatting to you it's a pleasure to meet you Ren ah you've met me before <laughs> right cheers Alden bye bye